everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Leslie and today I'm bringing a layout to you that I made uh, for the Just Nick design team and our uh, assignments are for this month is basically just to choose whichever um, cut file you really want to to use and go for it. So I went through all the beautiful cut files and this cut file it's called some people and it's a quote and it says some people make you laugh a little louder your smile a little brighter and your life a little better and for a while now I have been wanting to do something with a quote sort of have the quote be the the center and and the yeah the center of the layout and um You'll see there that I pulled out some of my Felicity Jane. And I also had this idea of a rainbow behind the quote. Um, have the quote on, um, you know, cut out of white cardstock and then have all the color behind this quote. And I didn't like it. And you'll see that I chop and change a lot throughout this video. I had a very specific idea in my mind but somehow I could not execute it. The This picture I had in my mind was perfect and I could not recreate it or I couldn't execute this, this, this idea I had in my mind and it was very frustrating for me and um, so the next the next idea or the next thing I wanted to do that I th that I thought, oh, wow, this is going to look awesome, and in the end it didn't look s s quite as I thought it would, was to use the um, quote cut file as a stencil um, on the background, but to still use the cut file. Um, so <laughs> there would be a, like double, the, the quote would be doubled up, on the on the layout and here you'll see I used my distress oxides and I just dabbed them with a little dauber um, and I used uh, the the colors um, that I used I'll just list down below in the comments or in the description box and you'll see that that is just not working I mean that in my head that worked but on paper that just did not work and there you'll see, I go back to the Felicity Jane and I just couldn't have it work. So I thought, well, what is working on this layout for me at the moment? And it was the color. So then I said to myself, well, bring in some more of the color, if that is the only thing that's working for you. <laughs> so I brought in some more of the color. And you'll see what I did. I just pressed the um, Distress Oxide pad down, a face down onto the paper, and I just swiped it across the paper and it left those wonderful textured streaks on the on the paper and the paper I'm using is the basil marshmallow and I'm so glad I found it in this great metropolis of Dubai <laughs> we struggle to find things here and when I found um, a shop with it I bought all the stock the shop had <laughs> so I've got a bit of a stash myself now of the basil cardstock of uh, the marshmallow but not enough to my liking so you'll see that I did ditch the idea of using all those little photos and I'm going to be focusing just on one photo of me and my husband and um, I am going to be using some of that stenciled uh, paper that I did make and I'm just going to use it to back my my photo and it really looked nice the way the water you know distressed the ink and it looked nice but it wasn't what I was looking for for this layout so uh, I hacked it up and used it as backing for my for my photo and I really liked the way that turned out it, it brought some attention to my photo as well so I'm splashing some water onto those streaks that I created with the distress oxide pads and it did take some time to activate and it works wonderfully and there you'll see my husband felt <laughs> had some compassion for me for my struggles because I created three layouts I started three layouts and I didn't finish them today because nothing I did worked and I got so frustrated yesterday as well I just I couldn't have anything work so he is just carrying on and bringing me coffee to help me to get through this so that I can just make something I can use so 
I'm just going to be gluing that cut file um, down now and you'll see that I did do the outlining with a very sharp fine tipped pen um, just to make that cut file pop a bit more because it was starting to get lost it looked a bit lost on the page and you couldn't see um, the the letters um, the definition of the letters and, and, and so on so I I like the pop of black that it gives as well so I'm going to stick my photo um, dead center on the right hand side of the page and um, you'll see that uh, we are facing the camera but our bodies are sort of looking to the left so uh, we are angled to the center of the page if if that makes if that makes any sense so it's sort of yeah we are open to the center of the page and that that works for me and 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 I've said this before in a previous layout that if I get stuck I doodle around the edges of my pages and then as I doodled I thought to myself well why stop with a doodly line around the edge of my page why don't I just doodle flowers because I was so fed up with this stage because I didn't have a collection I was working with nothing was inspiring me I didn't find anything that I that that instantly gave me an idea of what I wanted to do especially with using this big quote cut file and scrapping with a collection um, if I was to use embellishments it would cover up some of the cut file and the cut file was very big and then the page would be too cluttered and too full and too layered and I just I really really struggled with this page and usually a page you know I, I have quite a, a a good idea of of what my page is going to look like um, before I create it and I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do really it this was a struggle for me a quite, quite a challenge for me and in the end the more I look at the page the more I love it and it's a completely different page um, to what I used to do to what I'm used to doing it's completely different I mean there's the the doodling the fact that I, I used a large cut file as the center of my on my page um, and uh, and and all this color and this rainbow um, I really love the rainbow effect I use it on a lot of my layouts but um, yeah just to I mean the amount of doodling I did on this it I, it was so freeing just to draw <laughs> and even though it's very rudimental um, doodle doodles and anybody can do this I mean you can this is brainless stuff man people just <laughs> take a pen and doodle draw some leaves do some draw some little daisy flowers and, and and see where it goes and just have it just let your hand do whatever your hand wants to do and um, and it ends up looking like looking like something so I drew those little daisies and I didn't like them so I'm going to come in with some Heidi swap color shine some of the black and I'm going to splatter some big splats um, around that uh, doodly bit and that sort of disguises those little those little daisies that I drew that I really didn't like so there was now this black mass on the top right hand corner of my layout so I needed to create something to balance it out so I do some more doodling on the bottom left hand corner and this when I did the top right hand corner I wasn't sure what flower I was making and as I was drawing the flower on the bottom left, I sort of realized, oh, but it's a poppy. <laughs> my head and my hand has decided to make a poppy without me knowing it. <laughs> so I'm just going to go on and, 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 and um, shade in some more of that poppy and, and make it, uh, give it some more depth with, the, with, with shading there. And the pen I'm using is actually fabulous. It's a, it's a, it's gonna sound stupid when I say it it's an ink pen all pens are ink pens um, but <laughs> this thing is specifically for um, ink um, illustrations and drawings and things it has a very um, long thin brush tip and you've got a little ink chamber on the inside of the pen with um, very uh, thinned out ink it's not thick ink so uh, obviously you can go through the ink very quickly but um, you replace the chamber as soon as the ink is up so that is what I was drawing with here and um, I used to draw 
portraits and, and things with, with, with that pen. And I really liked it. And I'm, I've actually forgotten how it feels to do some, some drawing with it. So I'm just going to be going and adding some more black accents here and there with the hearts and so on. I'm also going to be doodling around the edges of the photo just to give that an extra pop. And off camera, I decided, well, I, I hadn't realized that I stopped recording by this time. But I decided that I needed some more doodling on the left-hand side of the page. So I'm just going to go up on the left-hand side with another little leaf sprig and some more um, interesting little doodles. And you'll see that in a still coming up. And um, yeah, so that is this for this week. <laughs> Again, there you go. I just went up with some more leaf and leaves and a little sprig there. And that's it. Remember, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. And I would love to hear um, from you in my comments. And um, yes, I'll see you again soon. Bye.